it is no secret that the Oscars have received a lot of complaints accusing them of being unfair, as all nominees are white actors. Will Smith and director Spike Lee are among the many celebrities to boycott in this event this year. I spoke with Professor Jaywood Saeed, director of the Global Centre for Equality and Human Rights, who has also wrote an article on this particular subject about his view on the diversity row. When we investigate uh, these accusations, and these accusations are pretty serious, and uh, they have to be evaluated on merit. Uh, There is a a lot of sensitivity involved. There is a lot of, if you call it... uh, Uh, Grievances are also there, Uh, there are misgivings and possibly there is also an issue of perception or misperception. So whereas perhaps uh, it may not be claimed that those who are making these decisions, they are by intention biased, but this uh, possibility cannot be ruled out that the actual outcomes seem to be lopsided. So, for example, uh, in my own article on this topic, um, I examined the whole episode from an institutional racist perspective, institutional racism perspective, and basically to investigate if there is any systematic or, uh, if you call it, uh, unintentional bias involved in the process or in the outcome. So this is something I believe camera people, the directors and the actors and the artists. So is do we see any, if you call it, uh, ethnic uh, or racial uh, hierarchy there? Do we see that there is only one, if you call it ethnicity or race, which is dominant there? If the dominance is there, then of course that would also be reflected in the Oscars. For all. They announced not long ago about changing the membership rules where all the new members voting status will only last for 10 years and then it will be renewed and they said that this is a response to the diversity kind of accusation. Do you think that's even going to make a difference? Uh, Well, the difference is something which uh, I would be keen to look at in terms of the outcomes. Yes, I can see that there are promises, and I think that, uh, like others, I would also welcome it, that this is a step in the right direction. But we also have to bear in mind that this is a step which is more reactive than proactive. So given that there was a lot lot of hue and cry, and given that there was a lot of, if you call it, protests and articles written on this topic, and, and artists, including black and white artists, they identified and they uh, notified their own concerns on this issue. And then it, it seems to me that the step itself was not proactive, it was reactive. Still, it can be welcomed, but we would be keenly looking at the outcome. So, for example, something which is, as of now, problematic is the racial composition of the committee, our overall membership of the Academy, the Academy of Motion Pictures. So, uh, uh, apparently, uh, uh, as per a report which was published uh, based on a survey of the Los Angeles Times back in two or three years ago, 92%, 94% of the Academy members, they happen to be white. 77% of them happen to be male. And only 3% of them happen to be black. So is this composition going to be significantly changed over the last one year or two years? That is something to see. If that composition is changed, then perhaps there is a likelihood that the decisions about nominations, the decisions about uh, the awards will be more inclusive instead of being racially hierarchical and exclusive. Chris Rock is hosting for the second time this year. Do you think that's their kind of way of salvaging their reputation? Uh, I welcome this and I am also aware of the fact that the president of the academy uh, herself happens to be an African-American. But these are, uh, uh, if you call it that, these are small steps and perhaps these also have token value. So for example, the fact that we have... uh, an African-American who currently sits in the White House. Does it change the uh, actual uh, situation of African-American community in the U.S.? Uh, has, has it significantly changed? So, for example, the unemployment adva- disadvantage, which they currently face, uh, uh, the high incarceration rate which they currently face in the U.S., or, or uh, the high poverty rate which they currently face in the U.S., I would be very keen to see that to what extent as though have, have those rates changed for example in the last four years or six years since the current president incumbent is in the in the white house so similarly i i am personally uh, not really convinced by the fact that there would be an african-american host uh, on the stage or currently the academy itself is led by an african-american person it's a, it's a good thing but it's not enough what's your view on the celebrities that have decided to boycott and protest against this event 
have to uh, where everybody has their own agency everybody has their own uh, if you call it uh, uh, position and perspective on how to perceive some, something and how to react something but uh, in the end personally i appreciate everyone everyone who has taken a stance whether it was in the shape of a boycott whether in the sh- whether it was in the shape of uh, participating in the awards uh, awards ceremony but but also making a note about this or making some observations uh, bear in mind that if there was no if there were no such protests then perhaps the academy would not have made uh, the announcement that look we understand the issue and uh, and the steps have been taken uh, to to rectify the issue so so why are they being forced now to consider this it is because of these protests it is because of these statements which have been made by the likes of uh, Denzel Washington by Will Smith and 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 also by uh, by uh, white artists and white directors so mm-hmm. so i think that everybody has their own way to uh, make a response and collectively if that response is making for example an impact why not you can find a link to professor said's article on the music radio hood website